So we're going to proceed with research. A uh, very short lang siya nga discussion. Uh, this is just a continuation of what we have discussed from uh, last meeting or yesterday, which is the types of quantitative research. The other one, ang katong previous version of what I've discussed yesterday, was more into correlational and causal research only, which is si causal is part of experimental research and si cor correlational for non-experimental research. Now, I did made mention there, that there are several um, quantitative types of quantitative research out there. So, I will be discussing that one this morning. So, um, although no, it's confusing siya kay lahi ang terms ang igamit dire, but um, I will just clarify this as much as possible, no? most especially explanatory and um, experimental research tend to be identical when it comes to definition, but when it comes to usage, they are very much different. Uh, same with ex exploratory or explanatory and with descriptive. So, daghan ka ayo siya o ka ng mga similarities. No? So, we will clear that one out so that it would be easier for you to uh, understand the difference. Anyway, ang importante man ani is you will be able to Or you will be able to of okay so the important part okay so, the important part here is that um, you know when we will use the experimental, when we will use the non-experimental, and if it comes to non-experimental, kanos ata mo gamit uh, sa exploratory or predictive or descriptive. Um, si koan, si exploratory kay naapod siya hints of correlational research actually wala gayon apil diri si correlational research that is why i included that one in the previous uh, slides no usually in research mong good uh, the important part is you know when to use these types of of research design kanu sa ata mo gamit ani if we plan to conduct research on this specific topic what would be the best research design for this kay Bottom line is that when you will be making your methodology, which is in chapter 3, you have to know what kind of research design that you are going to apply in your manuscript, knowing that this is the kind of research that you are uh, studying. Now, for example, uh, you're more into relationships between two, the two variables, you're more into comparisons, um, or for example, if you're just merely describing a certain phenomena or situation that is already existing, you already know unsay gamiton ana. Pero kung wala abi siya exist pa and you are starting from scratch, lahi pud ang research design para ana. So, mara pud siya kung sa medicine pa, you're like a doctor that you will, uh, that applies mag is, is a kind of medication once you already know the symptoms or unsa ang iyahang. Uh, mga underlying medical history pa no so yan na po na kung sa research we try to understand uh, what kind of topic that we are going to to research and for example if what are the variables are we just merely describing are we distinguishing a cause and effect relationship on sa siya nga klase so at least kabaluta okay I was not given this kind of privilege when I had my undergraduate thesis. So, it was not until I had my postgraduate studies that I know what are the different kinds of research design. And it's sad, no? Because you should really know how to do this. So that when you... Oh, no? Nice. O ban sa ha mag-work abi sa Department of Tourism. Or, for example, if... You feel like you're in the academe. If you want to be 
to become like a teacher in the hospitality or tourism management program then at least you know how to do these approaches because this is important actually research does not just limit to the academe lang, you know and even in the uh, local government unit or for example as long as in your the management or planning a department you conduct research frequently so anyway um, we are now going to proceed with the types of quantitative research. Since um, we are not into behavior, uh, we are not studying behavior or experiences, or for example, we're not into like observing anything no, which is part of qualitative. So we're now going to proceed with quanti. So... What do you mean by wala lagi? Anyway, um, there are several types of quantitative research. We have experimental. Types of experimental research, uh, which falls under experimental research, syempre, and then we have the non-experimental research, and then we're going to discuss the types of non-experimental research. So, katong duha, to shag uh, warm-up. Okay? Okay, so sorry. So we're going to proceed now with this one, experimental and non-experimental research. So we will st we are going to start with experimental research first. We already established this one yesterday. Um, but we already made mention of quasi and true experimental research. And both of them undergo the same kind of uh, experimental process, which na ashay control group, na ashay experimental group, they undergo intervention, but only difference lang is how they pick out their participants or respondents. But usually when we talk about experimental research, we don't call them respondents, but we call them uh, we call them participants. Okay? They're not going to respond. From the word respondents, they're going to respond to the questionnaire. In experimental research, they're not going to respond, they're just merely going to participate in the experiment because um, it will be the researcher who will implement or apply intervention and sila ra ang mag receive intervention and then you observe if there are changes uh, within them or sa ilang behavior or sa ilang physical appearance once or sa ilang health or unsa ba na siya depending on the on the um, what they call this uh, depending on the the experiment depending on the intervention so we call them participants so sa participants experimental research ang nakalian sa true and quasi is that how they will be picked out we already established that one yesterday okay na so there are two broad classifications in quantitative research we have experimental research that adheres strictly to the procedures of the scientific method so um, in experimental research, we make use we make use of materials, uh, we make use of different environments or where we conduct our experiment. Um, we're very strict when it comes to the process of experimental because, you know, one wrong move will really uh, affect the result of the experiment. 
and then you have to be in a controlled environment na kay control control variables ana to make sure nga dili ma ma change no although we are opting for change ban in experimental research but what i mean is uh dili ma influence og external factors ang katong experiment itself so if you just want to exper uh, to conduct an experiment on their memory and ang imo lang manipulate is their diet you should control the other factors surrounding the participant no so kung food ra man ang maglahi dapat ang water ang environment should be the same okay dili pwede nga uh, mag experiment ka and you're trying to measure memory for example or brain development and then uh, you want to see changes ana because of their diet pero wala ni mo control ang ilahang water intake wala ni mo control ang ilang environment so tendency if ang environment can also affect the brain growth or the water can affect the brain growth of the participant then dili accurate ang findings sa imong experiment okay so there should also be controlled variables so it involves manipulation, experimental and non-experimental of variables and employment of a treatment or intervention. Variables in an experimental research are isolated, manipulated and controlled for the researcher to determine their effect to the dependent variable. This type of research design is often employed in medical research. So like what I've uh, already mentioned, no, usually ang um, experimental research is very common to natural sciences like medicine, um and then usahay na atay mga experimental research po in other fields but commonly judge sa uh, health and allied sciences so mo to no to herbal treatment tung hamsters so kaning mga example or examples of an experimental research whether it is quasi or true experimental so an example ani is an effect of herbal treatment in reducing blood sugar among those diagnosed with diabetes so one group of patient receives herbal treatment while another group undergoes standard care for diabetes in this example with the herbal treatment in reducing blood sugar sa katong mga uh, patients um, with diabetes ang um, usa ka grupo nga naka receive og herbal treatment is the experimental group while in this case the other group who receives standard care is the control group and then the intervention is the herbal treatment because kuma both man sila gitagaan og treatment nga no makaingon man ka nga intervention si herbal take note your main goal is to uh, conduct an experiment on the effects of herbal treatment it's the effects of the herbal treatment if it does reduce blood sugar or not ang moy imuhang gusto i find out that is why the herbal treatment regardless i mean despite that both of the group of patients receive different treatments which is like sort of an intervention but the main intervention there is the herbal treatment because that is what you are trying to measure that is what you are trying to uh, find out if it really does lower blood sugar effectively than standard care. We talk about standard care like the the usual medicine for uh, people with diabetes or person with diabetes. So at the end of the treatment period, the blood sugar, which is the dependent variable of both groups, is determined. So asa gani diri ang ato ang independent variable or our um. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, our independent variable or our intervention? Herbal treatment. Okay, very good. It's the herbal treatment. And the dependent variable or the experimental group is Ang undergo standard care. Ang koan, ang ang dependent variable. Ang experimental group kinsa katong standard care or katong naka-receive og herbal treatment Asa man dira ang ang standard, standard care No, ang standard care is the control group. So ang standard care Ay, ang blood sugar daw ang dependent. Oh, 
Oh, yung blood sugar. Dependent, um, dependent variable. Okay, so ang um, ato ang dependent variable is ang group of patients nga nag-receive og herbal treatment because ang ilang blood sugar ang ato ang uh, i measure or ang ato ang i i observe no if na by changes lang blood sugar or not kinsa man to ang ato ang studyhan ng katong one group of patient nga naka-receive og herbal treatment duha man ni ka grupo so para to ang ikuan ha so we will read the problem again ha so for example, no, uh, ato ang sadihan is the effects of herbal treatment in reducing blood sugar among those diagnosed with diabetes is investigated. One group of patient receives the herbal treatment while the other group undergoes standard care. In here, the ang group A, which is ang receive of herbal treatment, ang mo experimental group, while ang group B, which undergoes standard care, is the control group. So at the end of the treatment period, ato ang gina compare if asa ang if effective budget ang herbal treatment sa pag reduce of blood sugar compared to standard care because we will be comparing both groups. So after three months of receiving herbal treatment, si group A o after three months nag receive of standard care si group B, ato silang i compare asa nila ang mas effective sa blood or effective budget herbal treatment sa pag lower of blood sugar kay ato mang ikumpara ang group A if pasbas ba ang pagobo sa blood sugar niya compare sa group B nga standard care ang na receive nila okay I'll give you another example another example uh -huh. so for what So, dili mo magunahon na sa standard care class, no? Nga, koan siya, dependent. Kay, they are just there to be, koan, to be compared to the group nga naka-receive og herbal treatment. Kaya, ang herbal treatment, man siya nga ang gusto uh, i-investigate if it's really effective in reducing or lowering blood sugar. So, si standard care, although naka-receive po ng treatment sa group B, pero it's not the main intervention because it's just there to be compared to the group A nga naka-receive og herbal treatment. Okay? O para di pa jud maglibog hatan na pugog another example. So, uh, for example, katong hepatitis na pud tano uh, para dili ta maglibog or ko anta wait. Sa ko na lang sa plants na lang ta para dali siya masabta na to. So, I have to bike bike ta sa plants no kay para dali rin niyo ma-understand ang concept. So, I have two same plants. So, kaning duha ka plants, kay parya sila og uh, species, parya sila og soil, parya og kanang amounts of water, volumes of water nga ginahatag every day. Now, I want to see if um if kani si plant B nga walay fertilizer og si plant A nga naay fertilizer, asa effective ba ang fertilizer nako to help the plant grow? So, ang usa ka plant, si plant B, ibutang siya sa ka controlled environment nga wala siya yung fertilizer. Si plant A, ibutang siya sa usa ka controlled environment po, same silag environment ni plant B, pero naa siya yung fertilizer. So, the only difference lang isang usa na ay fertilizer, ang usa wala. Okay? And then, ako ang i-compare, no? If asa ang, at the end of pila ka bulan, asa ang mas dali ning tubo. Ang katura bang wala yung fertilizer or na ay fertilizer. So, syempre, at the end of the three months na observation, syempre, uh, it's pretty obvious nga katodjong plant with fertilizer ang maoy mas paspas og tubo, mas paspas iyang growth compare sa plant B nga walay fertilizer. Now, we will try na po to upgrade our experiment. Kabalo naman ta, ngabas na fertilizer, paspas. Now, I want to know if uh, vermicote ba tawag na? Yung kanang Asa ang mas effective nga fertilizer na pud ako ah. So, ang katubang uh, ang soil mismo ang fertilizer, which is uh, like a natural fertilizer or ang katong osmocot nga mershag pellets nga ipatong ra sa soil. Asa nilang duha ang mas effective? So, balik ta sa duha na pud ka plant. So, we will go back to zero na pud. Dili ta mo gamit sa katong plant nga nagtubo na because of the fertilizer. We will now be using 
uh, a different plant na pod no para sa kana nga experiment. So I have plant A which is uh, so good pagtubo niya kani nga kind of plant wala siya nakadawat og fertilizer same with plant B. So they're the same kind of plant um same sila nga seedling, oh, for example, and then same sila so soil, oh, except na plant B, di ay, kay soil nga fertilizer iyang gamit, pero same sila og water uh, volume, kada adlaw, pag bisbis. So, si plant B, uh, it will be using a fertilizer nga soil jud siya, like vermi vermicote, ba tawag na, ano? Kanang soil jud nga fertilizer, and then ang plant A is wala sa soil ang fertilizer kundi pellets ra siya niya ipatong ra like osmocot ipatong ra sa tanom so after pila ka months ako na pong i-compare okay asa ang mas effective now dili man pwede nako i-compare ang duha so for example usa ra ko ah asa mas effective osmocot or ang katong soil so ang usa ako ang ko anon kung effective ba si osmocot compare ni soil fertilizer so the plant A and plant B are both um no, no, no sorry plant A is the dependent or the experimental group plant B with the soil nga na ay um na mix na nga fertilizer is the control group and then ang dependent variable ana is syempre the plant growth ang plant A itself so siya pod ang experimental may ha kung kinsa ang experimental group siya na ang dependent. The control group, wala dyan na siya labot. Naraga, exist na si control group para i-compare with the experimental group. So, si experimental group is at the same time is the dependent variable. Kaya siya ang main, mag siya ang main focus ni mo no, in the experiment. While, si control group is just there for comparison. But, it is not the dependent variable. It is not the experimental group yang iyang role is like side lang dito, sa kilid lang siya para observaran if i compare between the experimental group okay or if naaba dito changes and then the intervention is syempre ang fertilizer which is the independent variable okay so dire herbal ang uh, inyo kan ha ang sa dire magud para yung maglibog ang herbal treatment man good guys mo din siya ang gistadihan Mojo ni siya ang main focus sa research, not the standard care. That is why the group that receives the herbal treatment is the experimental group at the same time is the dependent variable while the other group, ang lahi nga grupo, that undergoes standard care is the control group. It is not the dependent variable, it is not the independent variable. Now, the independent variable or the intervention is the herbal treatment because this is what we manipulate or we uh, apply to the experimental group so that we will see if their blood sugar rises or reduces. And then, kani sila no ang experimental juna. So, experimental juna ang dependent variable. Sila ang main focus, not the group that receives the standard care. They are not the main focus of the study because it is not here in your um, main goal. No, Your main goal of your investigation is the herbal treatment, not the standard care. This uh, exists na siya for comparison as a control group. Okay? So, nakasabot ra questions. So, naklaro ra, or do I need to um, explain it uh, once more? Please tell me, ha, if you are still having trouble understanding. Hello? Nakasabot ra. Ilumang ka. So, I hope... I was able to clarify things. Okay, so since wala may ga ko ano, wala may ga reply, so I think kasabot raguro ang tanan. Please tell me ha if you if you have trouble understanding, so I I will be explaining it again. Dilik mahadlo. 
Okay. So, man, ano, using a control group and making certain that all variables are controlled. So, man, nagagamit siya o control group, which is a um, standard care. So, by using a control group and making sure Saan naman yung slides? And making sure all variables are controlled. So, i-control ang patient's weight, age, and type of diabetes. So, the researchers can be certain or the researchers uh, can be sure na sakto ang ilahang findings sa paglantaw if nag-reduce ba ang blood sugar due to the herbal treatment. So, there is a control group, which is the standard care. And then, control variables. Ano man ang control variables? The patient's weight. Dapat parihas. The patient's age. And what type of diabetes nila. Dapat parihas sila tanan. Okay? That is the control variable. The control group, lahi siya sa control variable ha. Ang control variable applicable sa both groups. Applicable sa experimental group and applicable sa control group. While ang control group is a separate group that does not receive the same intervention as the experimental group and it is just there to be compared to the experimental group once the intervention is applied. Okay? Kasabot ra? Hello? I can confirm if koan? Nakasabot ra? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, muna to siya, no? So, na tayo, different types of experimental research. We have the quasi and the true. We already established this one yesterday. So, again, no, when the sample or the participants are randomized, that is true experiment. Um, and then, kung purposive or intact, no randomization, then that is quasi-experimental. Ha? Again, ha? Ang ato ay yung uh, keyword, anak, kung true gani, non uh, it is randomized sorry it is randomized i will pick out um ko andro no anang by random and then ang quasi no randomization dia ta modul ana kay manatana yesterday let's now proceed to non experimental research so this is what this is the one that i was talking about the hanke class of non experimental research we already encountered a uh, time dimension uh, types of survey research no just like the um, retros uh, retrospective, the longitudinal and cross-sectional, but uh, we did not discuss yet the predictive and the exploratory or explanatory, uh, explanatory, which is a type of non-experimental research. Okay? So, na ay uban nga research nga wala gagamit o treatment, intervention, or experimental methods, and that is the non-experimental research. Kung according sa research purpose, ha, kung purpose ang ginastoryahan na to, we have the descriptive, predictive, explanatory, and din na masulod si correlational. The correlational research that we discussed yesterday. Pero mag-talk na bitag time dimension. Forward na ko gamay. Kung time dimension po gani ato ang storyahan, Kung, pur kung purpose sa ito ang suryahan ha, katong descriptive, explanatory, uh, predictive, o correlational, which is na-discuss itong correlational yesterday. Kung time gani, or survey design, survey design or time dimension, cross-sectional, retrospective, and longitudinal. Ito na-discuss yesterday. So, alita sa O ano? sa non-experimental according to research purpose. So, we can call it a non-experimental quantitative research if uh, the researchers answer uh, uh, descriptive if the researchers answer yes to the following question. So, una ta sa pinakauna nga types of non-experimental -exper research according to research purpose which is descriptive. Muni kalabanan ang inyuhang research design. May ngun gitag descriptive gani class, you are just merely describing the phenomena or situation at present. And usually, um, we try to understand or describe 
the situation which is not yet further explored. That is why gani nga naay gap in the study. Very important part sa ato ang research. Later on, you will encounter that one as you write chapter 1. Now, this is quite similar to the explanatory type of research design. The only difference lang with descriptive is that when you conduct uh, descriptive research, the situation or the phenomena is already existing. It's already existing na. Na established na siya. Si explanatory, your wala pa siya nag exist. Ikaw pa ang mo develop ng theory. You're merely starting from scratch. So, the non experimental quantitative research is considered descriptive it, if it answers yes to the following question. So, take note ha. We are now in the non experimental type of research according to research purpose descriptive. So is the pri uh, is the research primarily describing the phenomenon? If it's describing the phenomenon, it is descriptive. And then does it document the characteristics of the phenomenon? Okay? So that is a descriptive type of study. Again, um a research could be explanatory or descriptive, but ang inyong harang bantayan if it's this, uh, it's going to be descriptive if the issue or the situation is already existing. Okay? Uh, wala mo ga develop og theory. You did not start that from scratch. Okay? I'm sorry. And then, kung predictive siya, no? Lahay na po, predictive na po ta. So, predictive na po siya if. Uh, this study is used to, or aim niya, is to predict or forecast a phenomenon in the future. So, from the word predict, no? Predictive. So, mura po siya o, um, kung ato siyang basaho, no? Very close to experimental, but kung siya nakalayan ni experimental o ni predictive. Siyempre, si predictive does not undergo intervention or experiment. To put it simply, si predictive are guesses or hypothesis with some evidence. Meaning, it's just a hypothesis, it's just a, an educated guess with some evidence to back it up. But the experimental research is you're really trying to test if your predictions are correct through an experiment. How could I predict nga this kind of plant can reduce blood sugar. So, ako kung i-testing bi, ako kung i-experiment bi, ako kung i-undergo o koan. So, yung anak na, no, ka nang imun siyong i-test out through an experiment. Kay, dili ka satisfied with just an hypothesis. An hypothesis is just, uh, this is my guess, or this is my, koan, no, marag may, uh, sa tawag na, marag ako ang projection out of this issue, o. Oh or out of this topic. Oh, based on kung nabasahan mo, ni ako ang marag conclusion. Although, this is just an hypothesis, this is just a an educated guess, but I do have some evidences through reading. Meaning, wala ni mo gitas out yourself if sakto ba ay muhang prediction, if sakto ba ay muhang hypothesis, because you are just merely reading from literature, from books, no? from research uh, articles. So, mura siya og predictive ra. Kaya wala mo ka nagkundak og actual experiment. So, you could still establish a cause and effect relationship with the independent and dependent variable without having an actual experiment. Kaya wala kay laboratory, wala kay materials, kulangan ka sa time, kulang ka sa participants. Then you could, pre you could pursue predictive. Predictive is just like experimental without the experiment. There is still a cause and effect relationship, but again, it's a hypothesis, educated guess, with evidence, no, with some evidence, not entire evidence. Mag pilar ka evidence based on, based on research articles that I've read, based on ako ang nabasahan sa Google Scholar, maging anara, no, and you're trying to forecast the effect of the independent variable to the dependent variable but with no experiment at all. So, dili ka maka truly say if certain ka or correct imong prediction because you did not prove it. You're just merely going to read research articles and mo na imuhang i-pull out, mo na imuhang i-present as an argument, no? Or counter-argument why you think your prediction is 
kuan valid not correct but valid no kami yung tag correct jud meaning you are really certain because ikaw mismo nakakondak og experiment ana nakita nimo sa imong own eyes and nakita nimo na from the experiment ka ikaw mismo ang nagmanipulate ikaw mismo ang nagobserve diba so mo na ang naka difference sa nilang duha that is why this is non experimental there is no actual experiment si experimental research kay you are trying to test if your predictions are correct. Okay? You are testing if your predictions are correct through an experiment. O, di ko mahimutang, di ko, di ko satisfied sa ako ang na-read from uh, research articles. I still want to find out more. That's why I'm conducting this experiment. Ari ko sa controlled environment. I have materials. I have controlled groups. I have experimental groups. I can apply intervention. I, and, and I want to see for myself if my hypothesis is really true. No, that's already experimental research. Okay? Kasabot ra? So, naka, we're able to uh, caught up on that. Students? For one kind of... Yes, um. Okay. Questions? Things that you want to clarify so that I can... Explain it further. Okay, if none, we're going to proceed with the last, which is explanatory. So, muna, usually, ang katong slide na ko good sa senior high to siya nga slide, katong yesterday. They narrow it down, they narrow it down to co correlational and causal because it's easier to understand. But, uh, in reality, there are a lot of exp uh, there are a lot of quantitative re types of research, and then sometimes they can look so similar, but they have different uses, and you have to know kanus ani siya gamiton. Kay kanis explanatory, this is very sim closely similar to the descriptive research, but the difference lang nila is the situation is existing already in descriptive, sa explanatory wala pa. Although they have the same goal. Si explanatory and descriptive, ang ilahang goal is to explore further on topics that have not yet been explored before. The only difference lang is that in descriptive, the situation, the phenomena is already existing. While in explanatory, it has not yet been uh, explored and wala pa siya exist and you're still trying to initially start a theory or start a research about it because nobody has ever started a study on this before wala pa siya ga exist so nag start you off all from scratch so it is ex an explanatory research if it answers yes to the following were the researchers trying to develop or test a theory about a phenomenon so, mo sulod na ganita nga maghimo tag theory, that means wala pa jud na siya exist. It hasn't uh, it hasn't been uh, studied yet by anyone. Okay? And then where the researchers trying to explain the how the phenomenon operates in identifying the causal factors that produce change in it. Okay? So sa descriptive, may ngol siya descriptive kay na naman ga exist naman ang issue, ga exist na ang topic exist na ang situation, you're just there to describe it. Okay? Na, ga describe na ka, ga exist naman siya. Pero sa explanatory, wala d'yo. So, so good d'yo ka sa from scratch. And it's really difficult to pursue this kind of research design because you have limited related literature. You have limited research articles to, to back up your, your research. Kay, literature holds so much ground in your research paper. Muna, usahay, Mona kung pinaka uh, weakness when writing research is the related literature because you have to really read and find and find out in Google Scholar filter out everything on say mga research articles that can help support your research that can help provide more credibility sa imong research study. So dire no mona siya. Sa explanatory ganit ma'am kuan pa um same sila na descriptive, ilang goal is to explore on topics na wala pa siya na explore sa oban. Uh, dili pa kayo siya well-known na kind of issue. 
Pero the only difference lang, ka exist na ang situation sa descriptive. I'm just merely describing it. Sa so explanatory, from the word explain, I'm going to really explain everything from scratch and try to start a theory, develop a theory, because wala pa rin nakasagod ana nga study. Okay. Ko pa lang. Ngayon, ana. Now, for example, if ko an, um, maka-encounter ka o certain study nga wala pa rin, or ka na a certain topic nga gusto ni mo studyan pero wala pa rin, like few lang ang nakabalo ana or dili pa rin ping ana siya ka mainstream sa uh, research field then muna, you're going to develop a theory yourself. Para sa anang theory ni Butler. So, he developed this theory, tourism development theory nga in order for a tourism destination uh, to actually be called a destination, they have to have attractions, amenities, katamayang ana, ano mga kinds of sectors uh, kompleto sa ilang syudad for it to be called a tourism destination. Because, to in order to fill in the needs of the tourists, so, siya, ana, no, niya, gidevelop ra sa uban. So, siya, gastart jud ana. It has not yet been explored. So, siya, gastart jud ana, or the management theory, no, sa kung sa business ba or sa HBO, nga subject, human behavior and organization. Those are examples of explanatory research. Later on, um, can be useful in your theoretical framework. Now, we already discussed the types of survey design yesterday, which is the cross-sectional, retrospective, and longitudinal. Sometimes, we call it research according to time dimension because we are making use of time uh, in order to collect data. No? Dira na tumabalan niya, cross-sectional ni aqua, retrospective, longitudinal. However, we don't usually provide this type of research design the methodology we just know like internally nga ah cross sectional ni ako ah or since i'm more into <clears throat> post test uh, pre test post test so kuan ni ako ah correlational no or kuan um if it's more an experimental so mo na um before and after cause and effect then uh, previous and then present data or old data okay so we have the types of research according to time dimension. We have a cross-sectional, like what I've said yesterday. Mo collect ka og, og data from your participants or respondents at a single point in time. While ang retrospective is ga looks backward in time. Okay? Karaan sa daan. Daan nga um, data, no? archive data. And then the last one, the longitudinal. So, uh, kuan na siya nyo, ga collect siya og present data. So, pre, uh, pre, pre test ka, and then later on, uh, mo collect na po siya in another na po nga time for comparison. So, perfect example, pre test and post test. No? So, mo pa exam ko run, and then mo apply na po ko og kuan. Bago nga teaching strategy, I will try to see if nag improve ba ang ilahang scores. And then, Conduct na po post test, and I will compare both test scores from the pre test and the post test. That is longitudinal research. Okay, so for you to uh, grasp on the concept further, here are some ano, gi -tabul uh, gi tabulate lang nato ang types of quantitative research, uh, its description, and examples. So, kung true experimental, so, many use of random assignment of participants, sample studies, the effect of a new treatment plan for breast cancer. And then, ang quasi is um, no randomization. Examples, Anna, is use of conventional versus cooperative learning groups in students' academic achievement and effects of personalized instruction versus uh, conventional skill. So, ngano kuan man siya? Uh, quasi. Kaya siyempre, um, pag imuhang pag-measure sa co conventional versus cooperative learning groups, kay, um, you're just going to study one group of students. Like, usa na ka section. Di man pwede nga, usa, ah, tu tulo ka estudyante sa first section, tulo ka estudyante sa second section, imong uh, studyhan ani sa quasi-experimental. Kaya siyempre, uh, you're just going to, to see if ang 
conventional ways of learning or uh, cooperative learning ba ang maoy makapa-improve sa academic achievements sa students and since nagabit mo cooperative learning ang cooperative learning is study group so ang conventional learning is ikaw-ikaw lang or by pair ba mo but ang cooperative learning is magtinabangay ang per ang estudyante ginagrupo sila dahil magtinabangay sila for like quizzes or assignments dili mag-cheat ha pero i mean magtinabangay sa like studying reviewing sharing of materials and notes and then we will try to compare if asa ang mas maka-improve sa academic achievement katong ga ga study group ba or katong conventional learning lang nga ya iya lang okay Siyempre, usa na ka grupo, Anna. So, no randomization. Intact ang grupo. You don't get respondents or participants from section A, section B, section C. But you're just going to get it from one specific section. While well, si Tree Experimental, since siyempre, uh, breast cancer man siya. So, randomization. Um, magpili ka o katong, katong stricken with breast cancer regardless kung asa sila gapuyo. So, there is randomization of participants. For non-experimental research purpose, so, you have the descriptive. So, uh, syempre, no, uh, current status of an identifiable variable. So, mo describe ba sila sa current status. With the current status, it's already been existing. While ang explanatory, no, to test a theory. So, you're starting from scratch. So, sa descriptive, an example of that is a description of the tobacco use habits of teenagers. So, you're just merely describing kay na naman na ang mga tobacco habits sa mga teenagers, di ba? Ga-exist naman siya. So, um, you're just merely going to describe their habits. No? Sa mga usual habits nila. Or, a description of the kind of physical activities nga naa sa nursing homes and how frequently they occur. For example, sa mga physical activities, no? Mag- magkuan ba sila? Sana ko na mag paddleboard or for example mag bingo no so or maglantaw silag TV and then how frequently do they do that you're, you're merely describing that's description a uh, descriptive research and it's already been existing ga exist na ng mga physical activities you're just there to to try to conduct a survey kung unsa lang mga activities and then how frequently nila ginabuhat ng activities sa nursing home and if it's really good for their development. No, syempre, mas kitigulang na sila, kanalan man sila mag-exercise, di ba, for health purposes. And then, kanipo, no, i-describe naman yung uh, tobacco habits sa mga teenagers na gagamit ng tobacco, mag tiniguwang no, tobacco, or vape baro, no, kay syempre, Gen Z naman ta. So, that's an exam, that's an example, no, kay it's already existing, it's already there, you're just there to describe it, the, the phenomenon, the situation. And then, ang predictive, so examples of that, keep mo predict mga forecast no, um, without actual experiment, uh, cause and effect relationships raman imong e determine but no experiment, no interventions at all. So an example ana is factors affecting college success. Um, Shempre you're trying to understand what are those factors that can affect college success most especially if na apa siya sa lower year level. And then the relationship between types of activities used in math classrooms and students' academic achievement. So you're trying to see if unsa mga type of activities nga tong integrate nga may maka improve sa academic achievement sa mga bata. So it's not a correlational research because although na ay relationship no, which is makalibog siya. Um, because you're going to manipulate what kind of activities yung gamiton to see if mo change ba, mo improve ba, or mo decrease ang academic achievement sa students. And then explanatory, so it aims to develop a theory or test a theory and how it operates. So for example, if there is no study about the role of peers and study groups in student attitude and learning and academic achievement and mathematics, then if it's not yet been explored yet, wala pa kita literature about it or research articles, then you are developing a theory on your own and that is explanatory. While the time dimension, so we have cross-sectional, retrospective, and longitudinal. In here, matawag na to siya o cross-sectional because 
you are just going to gather data from a single point in time. An example of that is the graduating students' beliefs, perceptions, and experiences on their K-12. So, syempre, dili maka mukuha sa mga experiences sa uh, students uh, from their K-12 experience kung grade 11 pa siya. So, syempre, makuha na ka kung mag-exit interview na ka, no? Kung Manu graduate na si student, hapit na ang graduation day, dira pa ka conduct survey on their perceptions, beliefs, and experiences nila from their K-12 nga uh, student years. No? So, that is cross-sectional. You're trying to get data from a single point in time. Ang retrospective, so, past, no? Past data. So, possible causes of lung cancer and related respiratory disorders of smokers. Very descriptive po siya o uh, dating, pero it is called retrospective because the cause of lung cancer has already been determined in the past and you are just going to go back no, to those possible causes and try to study them. And then, ang longitudinal, so from the word prospective, so prospective, future, no? Longitudinal study of the correlation uh, of the correlation and consequences of early grade retention. So, uh, retention is um, how long can you keep a student sa school? No, mo last ba siya until graduation? So usually, no, mo gather ka data from present until at the end, no, the end of the four years. If pila ang nagpa enroll sa first year kung mao pa ba japon ini ka graduate nila sa fourth year dira mabalan ang retention sa student no so present and future data okay if there is a retention when it comes to um kaning a specific uh, program or specific nga section o parsa na no ang retention level sa mga tourism students kay very high Kay, they started out with 40, for example, maabot na lang 20 or 15 in ikaabot ng 4th year. So, mupo na no, ang retention uh, level sa students. Please wait for a while.